Hey folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. Let's move on. If this were Eternal Crystals, I would be doing some grinding. This is not Eternal Crystals. I'm not doing any grinding. Oh, it's a leafy bun. Let's hit it. Oh, it's dead. <coughs> a leafy bun. Do you understand what I'm doing here? Where that jerk? Why why are you hitting Tina all the time? That's better. A Rajaran die already. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold it. Oh, you know what So this is the girl. Yep. I am a girl. Who do you think you are? You think you rule the world? That's no way for me to treat a lady I've just met. Young king of a technologically oriented civilization of the desert residing over Figaro Castle and allied to the Empire. Edgar. People call me Edgar. Should have hyphenated it. <coughs> I'm King Edgar. I'm surprised I'm an acquaintance of this country's king. Nod, 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 nod. See you later. So you're an Imperial soldier? No need to worry. You'll be safe from persecution here. Feel free to rest and relax. I'd never bring harm to a lady. Why it means a kind to me? Because of my power? First of all, your beauty has captured my heart. You're my type. Powers are a distant third. Huh? What are you talking about? My charming techniques are starting to rust. Huh? I don't... How odd. If I were ordinary, I'd be flattered. But I'm... I'm starting to feel that this may not be a direct translation of the Japanese and more of just a like rehashing of the American version. I could be wrong. Oh yeah. Mm. See something. Something just doesn't feel right here. Go digging around for a new translation. Uh huh. Uh, I have one of these now. I don't know where it came from, but I have one. Oh, well. Tell me a story. And there was a younger twin brother. The family loved that boy dearly. But they're not the same age. Mm-hmm. 
you notice? Haven't you seen how thin his face is? What do you mean? Big brother. Tears. Edgar's younger twin brother, who is a different age than him, who threw away his royal rights. He'd been handed for his freedom and fled the castle forever. wanted to look. <clears throat> ah, his name is Mash. By now that child must be a wonderful adult. Though he was smaller and weaker than Edgar when they were younger. Because he was younger. I wonder how much he's changed now. It says so in the guide. There's like one or two years age difference between the two of them. Let's sort our crap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's talk to you. The young Samash, disgusted with the matter of secession, fled from the castle suddenly. The choice of who would be king was decided by a coin toss. So what do you think of my castle, that is? So Edgar Frozen the Empire's approaching. Uh, Robert B. Cave guy. The Sethka. Because it's C E now, so it's Sefka. Hmm, damned orders. Damn you, Edgar. Worthless castle in a place like this. My body's not built for reconnaissance dispatches. Sand on my boots. So they're clean now. Hey, Kevka, what are you doing here today? Move aside. He's a machinist. I was a machinist for a little while. I nearly lost a finger. Oh, our alliance will keep your forces from invading our country. Alliance, wake up. This country's way too small. Seems you've ruined three countries. What are you trying to do here? Is your free just to you? What reason have you come here for, Emperor Gestal's magic warrior, Kefka? A lone girl from the Empire, if I fled from the Empire, if I heard right. Girl wouldn't happen to have the power of magic. That's not your business, is she here or not? Come now. There are a stellar number of girls here. Well then it'd be a good thing if she's not here. <laughs> Best to pray that Figaro never gets crushed or anything. That's... Not really good dialogue. That man is insane. Where's Tina? Here I am. Show her to her room. I really want to talk with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan out a new strategy. It's hard being a king sometimes. I'm very sorry. <clears throat> follow me. Nope. You follow me. How'd you get ahead of me? Let your mind be at ease, I'll... Mr. Locke, I asked Edgar about you. You're a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Edgar is officially an ally of the Empire. He sides with the Returners. Who oppose them? I'm his information pipe with him. I'm emphasizing things incorrectly, mostly on purpose. That old man you met in Arche's return to supporter himself? The Empire? I'm an Imperial soldier. 
you were... The Empire was controlling and lying to you. But it's different now. Yeah, but I don't... I, but I did... Oh. You have time to think about it. Don't worry too deeply right now. You'll find your way eventually. Well, I will not know which way is right. Oh, it's my decision. What the hell? He said hell. The bricks, they're on fire. How did they do that? What's going on? It's the Empire, it's... What are you doing? Bring the girl out. I told you she's probably not here. Well then you could just burn to death here. He -he -he. Burn to death. Burn to death. Fire, 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 fire. No, stop, drop, and roll, you idiot. Get ready. Sir. Have you changed your mind? Soon, maybe. Ha. My goodness, it seems the king has decided to flee alone. How delightful. He, 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 he. Ride and jump. All right, dive now. Yahoo! <coughs> oh, it's shaking. It's a shimmying and a jimmying. If I go covert cruising mode or whatever that said, I missed it. In the golden ocean, the brave Figaro dives. Let us demonstrate. I'm beginning to think the American, normal old American translation was better. Into the golden ocean. That's not gold. Go kill them. Where did you get those? Why weren't you riding in them when you came to the castle? Hmm, magic base. Magic laser. It's a magic base with a magic laser. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, my heavens, my head got very tall. What's the matter, Edgar? Why are you so surprised? Didn't you just see what I did? Oh yeah, she does seem to have amazing and innate powers. Innate powers? That was magic. M-A-J-I-C-K. Or G-I-C magic. Ma 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 magic. That was magic. Whisper, 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 whisper. Tina, where did you learn to do that? I'm sorry, I... <sighs> Look, now don't you go get us wrong. You just surprised us. Indeed, indeed, that was my first time seeing magic, and it quite startled me. But where did you learn to? Enough, Edgar. Tina has magic powers and we don't. We need her help right now, and it doesn't matter that she has them either way. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. Wink. Oh, watch our heads come off of our bodies. Oh, cut that out. You crazies. I stole a potion. <coughs> Quick. Damn it. I don't think I have a Fihonix down. I don't. There. Auto bow. And she's dead. Yay for me! Ah, bravo, Figaro! Let's turn around. Son of a bitch! Wow, that 
that was great. Those people back there, were they evil people? I'm scared. Tina, there's someone we want you to meet. We're both members of the Underground Returners movement. I know, you told me that a few minutes ago. We meet with our leader, Bananan. The key to this war is going to be magic power. Magic. Tina, you have magic powers. That power reacted to the Phantom Beast. There must be a relationship. I don't know anything. I've always had these powers. So just a natural ability of mine. But ordinary humans are never born with magic powers. Oh, I'm a freak, huh? Screw you. Light you on fire in your sleep. I'm sorry. What should I do? Tina, the Empire will just keep trying to reclaim you and your hidden powers. With that kind of power in Imperial hands, they'd ruin the world. Tina, do you want to find out more about the true nature of your powers? If so, then I think meeting Bananan could help you find the truth. Please? Okay, we should head south. There's a cave up ahead that leads to the South Figaro. That's what we're gonna do. Gonna go to the cave. Gonna go to the cave. Ow! Chirpy chirp. <clears throat> Uh, Sir Edgar, what will you do? We'll be heading through the cave and then east to the town of South of Figaro. Then we'll turn north and head for the Returner's headquarters. We want you to go back to Figaro Castle and inform them of this. Sir, good luck. Wait, didn't the castle submerge? Sir, wait. Still got the nice little graphical hiccup there. Recover spring. We're alive. Great day in the morning. Meh. Epiciferous. I'll show you. Thirty-two experience points makes me a happy camper. The sprite looks so weird now to me. I'm noticing things I didn't notice before. There are treasures in this cave. I'm going to skip them, because I don't care. That's right, I don't care. Oh. There's more than wasps in this cave, I promise. <clears throat> Town of South Figaro. Potion. Whoever that was, he was a horrible ninja. I totally saw him. Also, I'm behind the shadow of this thing. Cool, huh? Eye drops, antidotes, old people. Head beyond Mount of Colts, you'll find the Saber Mountain Range on the far side. It's true, I was there once. Ah, uh, no, not the pub. This one. Don't want to talk to you because I don't care. I want a dash shoes. Um, a couple of star pendants. Silver glasses, that's plenty for now. Actually, there, that's good. You find high quality items such as weapons, armor, accessories for sale in the shops around town. Let me tell you how shops work you go in and you buy stuff. Yellow cherries, those are supposed to be green. It's never gonna work. Potion. And get out of my way.
teleport stone. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we need a couple of large shields. We need a couple feathered hats. We need Kembo gear and a cotton robe. Let's have a defense of 14. That is a defense of 32. Then a defense of 34. So we're gonna go with those first. And grab one of those. be able to afford two more. So I'm going to do a little off-screen money grinding. So not only do I need that stuff, I want a great sword. But before we close up the video, we're going to go to that pub. Could you at least respond? Stand back, I've seen him before somewhere. He must be. He vows his allegiance to nobody. Those who look behind his mask see only the cold gleam of his empty eyes. Ah, uh, Shadow. Yeah, that's his name. Shadow. Shadow. He's an assassin who would kill his best friend for money. In that case, let's not talk to him. Those of you who remember what was said in the US version will know it was much more appalling. Slit his mama's throat for a nickel. That's that guy. What a nice young man. Chocobo stable. Eh, yeah, don't care. We're gonna call this a video though. I'm gonna go finish my shopping and I'll see you back here shortly. Well, next time.